Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Vision Classes. It's a classes for IGCSE, GCSE students. So today we have to discuss further mathematics 9231 Cambridge syllabus and structure. This further mathematics is a separate subject apart from the your Cambridge mathematics. It's a higher level of mathematics compared to normal mathematics. And before we move ahead to the further mathematics syllabus and structure, let me introduce myself. I am Dhanraj sir and I teach maths and physics to the Cambridge student. We have a student across more than 10 countries. Suppose if you want to connect with us, I have left the contact in the description box. Our regular batches, classes are going on. Suppose if you want to understand and improve your grade, then we are here to help you. Content over you. For further mathematics, we have a four paper. One is further pure mathematics one, that is paper one, and further mathematics paper two, then further mechanics and further probability statistic part. And you have topics subtopics are there in each and every paper so for further pure mathematics you have a seven topics a roots of polynomial equation here you have a quadratic cubic quartic equations are there they are roots then nextly rational functions and graphs then summation of series matrices then polar coordination vector part is there proved by induction these are the topic covered under the further pure mathematics one then further pure mathematics two you have a hyperbolic function matrices then differentiation integration complex number differential equation these are the six topics are there then further mechanics you have a six topics motion projectile motion equilibrium of rigid body then circular motion hooke's law and linear motion under the variable forces right and then lastly momentum further probability and statistic you have a five very interesting topics are there one is continuous random variable then interference using normal and t distribution second one then a uh, chi square test then non parametric test and the probability generating function these are the five topics are there under further probability and statistics all right so we will just understand the paper structure assessment overview means how you have to give the paper for as level you can give the further pure mathematics along with this further pure mathematics you can either give the paper 3 or paper 4 paper 3 of further mechanics and paper 4 of further probability and statistic part is there so you can take any one along with the further pure mathematics one if you take let's say further pure mathematics one and the mechanics one, then you can give the two paper in as level and for a level you can or choose remaining the further pure mathematics two and whichever left over after as level either from the mechanics or probability statistic further probability and statistic all right so further pure mathematics one is of 75 marks and further uh, mechanics of 50 marks then further pure mathematics it's a 75 marks and probability statistic it's a 50 mark paper will be there for you so then we will move on to paper by paper content overview pure mathematics one you have a seven topics first one is roots of polynomial equations so roots of polynomial equations it is restricted to the equations of degree two three and four only okay then even the use of substitution method is there to find out the root then nextly rational functions and their graphs we have to discuss the turning point asymptote intersection with the axis all right then y is equal graph of y is equal to f of x y square is equal to f of x and y is equal to 1 upon f of x and y is equal to mod of f of x and y is equal to f of mod of x these graphs we have to discuss in depthly then nextly next part is summation of series in the series part we have to use the method of differentiation to obtain the sum of finite series all right we have a matrices matrices addition subtraction multiplication okay then inverse functions then uh, you have a even geometric uh, transformations of xy planes all right then determinant matrix so these are the topics under covered under the matrices polar coordinates so polar coordinate we have to understand cartesian to polar form and vice versa we have to sketch simple polar curves then we have a curves. then we have a vectors we have to use the equation ax plus by plus cz or rn is equal to p or r is equal to a plus lambda b plus mu c these are the functional forms are there then you need vector okay then we have to understand the or solve the problem relating to the distance angle intersecting uh, intersections we have to find the distance of a line 
then intersection point then finding foot perpendicular to the point from the point to the plane all right angle between the line and plane these are the concepts are there under the vector all right then nextly proved by induction this is seventh topic that we have to discuss we have a further pure mathematics 2 under further pure mathematics 2 we have a six topics and these six topics such as hyperbolic function matrices matrices further matrices part is there in the further pure mathematics too then nextly differentiation integration part it's a calculus very interesting part then nextly complex number and differential equations so differential equation de of first order second order linear equations are there then nextly mechanics okay mechanics also very interesting topics are there so we have a six topics such as projectile motion motion related concepts are there acceleration then velocity displacement these are the concepts are there equation relating to the trajectory projectile motions then initial speed angle of projectile motion things like that are included in the motion of projectile all right then nextly equilibrium of rigid body here we have to uh, apply the moment of forces then concept relating to the center of mass center of uniform body all right then uh, triangular uh, forces all right then equivalent system yes then nextly circular motion circular motion related concepts are there we have to understand speed acceleration related concept constant speed next part that is hooke's law related con concepts such as extension compression understand the term modulus of elasticity then nextly linear motion under the variable forces we have to understand or apply the variable force related concept acceleration related concepts and differential equations as well then nextly sixth one it's a momentum momentum we have to apply the newton's law here to find out the solution all right the, the fourth paper that is probability statistic we have a first topic continuous random variable then interference using normal and t e distribution here then fourth one it's a chi square test non parametric test and the last one is the probability generating function these are the five topics covered under the probability statistic in my view uh, in my teaching experience i can say that if you let's say understand all these topics thoroughly or go through all the past year paper then it's easy to get a a star grade fine and uh, if you, you connect with us i am pretty sure that you will get at least a i have left the contact in the description box if you want to connect with us that's it take care bye bye